I don't hate Christmas. Right on Santa, won't you ride on down? Right on Santa, won't you ride on down? I just hate Christmas the way my family does it. Since we were kids, Zach has hated Christmas. It's so lame. The Christmas shoes by G.K. Chesterton. Ooh, and Lemony Snicket. There once were three wise men. Ebenezer Scrooge, George Bailey, and Buddy the Elf. They were on a quest to find the Christmas shoes for Emily. Unfortunately, Emily's uncle had lost $8,000 and they had been evicted. So they had to live in Santa's workshop because there was no room for them in the inn. We have many great traditions at Christmas and for some reason, Zach hates all of them. None of us understand it. I mean, Christmas only comes once every four years. We should celebrate. He makes up a completely different story every year. Last year it was about Rudolph the Little Drummer Boy, who was in business with Bing Crosby, until the Polar Express offered Bing a better job, and Rudolph was left in the dust. And as ridiculous as that is, he didn't even start telling the story until Christmas Eve, so we had to put up with this every evening until St. Patrick's Day. Now Santa's workshop had been a terrible place ever since Santa discovered that he was diabetic. Mrs. Claus had told him and told him and told him to stop eating so many cookies. But he was bulimic and had an uncontrollable urge to eat cookies from every house on earth. I've done that before. Which is the real reason that Santa <laughs> delivers presents instead of Anakin Skywalker. He had to retire when he got all his arms and legs hacked off. Oh my goodness. Mercilessly. Hacked off. So, what delicious dishes are we going to create this Christmas? How about pretzels dipped in chocolate? Ooh, and peanut butter balls dipped in chocolate. And cheese balls dipped in chocolate. Um, okay. Are we going to make a gingerbread house this year? Can we dip it in chocolate? Wouldn't that defeat the purpose? And, and, and turkey dipped in chocolate. And mashed potatoes dipped in chocolate. And chocolate cranberry sauce. And chocolate eggnog. And, and chocolate orange juice and chocolate burritos, and, and empanadas, and pickles dipped in chocolate, and french fries, we can have chocolate sauce to dip them in, and, and chocolate fried chicken, and chocolate lettuce, and, and chocolate mousse. One time we got snowed in, and um, so we couldn't get to the store, and we ran out of sugar, but we couldn't have anything sweet for like a week. Mom hasn't been the same since. Chocolate Doritos, and chocolate fish juice, chocolate rolls, chocolate chocolate oh, wait, here chocolate comes. <coughs> What are you guys doing? Chocolate! Forget it. Let's go. They always do this. They always hide in a corner and plot, and then when I walk by, they act like they're not doing anything. Which I would understand that around Christmas, except that they've never given me any presents. Gotta be honest with you, this guy living in my house has been a jerk recently. But we've got a plan. I think they're all crazy.
I am the ghost of Henry Newfeld. Okay, you look young. That's because I expired in the flower of my youth. Shot at a wedding chivalry. If you wish to avoid this fate, don't go to wedding chivalries. Also, I'm pretty sure they don't use real guns anymore. Teenagers these days. I mean, when the ghost of your great-grandmother's first husband shows up, you're not supposed to talk back. It's probably an important visit. You will be visited by three spirits. Ebenezer Scrooge, George Bailey, What's my line? The ghost of Christmas past. The ghost of Christmas past. The ghost of Christmas present. And the ghost of Christmas yet to come. You can expect the first of them at the stroke of... You were supposed to come until the stroke of one. We practiced this. Well, I'm here now. Can we proceed? <sighs> Fine. <clears throat> How do you feel about big musical numbers? I hate them. Oh, well then, let's just cut to the life-changing jazz. That's you. In the past. <laughs> I still can't figure out what was going on that night. At the time, I thought I was having a dream, which was caused by the chocolate-covered grilled cheese. But now I'm leaning more towards practical joke. My work here is done! Weird. Psst! You're on! <laughs> well, let's get this over with. Maybe they'll leave me alone now. 